Hey guys, Vertus here with a quick guide on how you can get started building your dreams, creating your very own video games from scratch. In this series, we'll go over an introduction to game creation, allowing you to get started on your journey to creating whatever games you imagine, whether that's the next big shooter game, popular 2D mobile game, or terrifying horror game. You'll be able to create it all from the ground up by yourself. Having said that, you'll be able to model environments, characters, weapons, create animations and script gameplay mechanics and interaction. So, without further ado, let's dive in and get started. We'll start off by taking a quick look at some gameplay footage, breaking it down into different elements so we can see what is required for game creation. So, looking at the footage, I've broken it down into a few elements, those being the player character, environment and static meshes, interactive content and objects, and lastly, your AI. So, to start off, you have your player character, which is controlled by you, and is comprised of a few different things, those being the controls telling the game what to do based on user input, and a character model to represent the visual side, camera systems, and animations. Next, you have your environment, which is essentially the level that the player navigates through, and uses to progress through the game. These environments are built up of hundreds of different static meshes, such as structural items like walls, aesthetic items like bins, lights, and more. These objects are meshes, which are essentially built up of little squares known as polygons to create a refined shape. Next, you have the interactive content, which are usually objects with some kind of script attached to them, allowing you to interact with them, such as the door shown in the gameplay. Once the player gets close to it and touches an input key, it will open. Now keep in mind that is just an example and not a limit of what you can do. Lastly, you have the AI, which is probably the hardest to create, as they require not only a character model to represent the visual side, but they also require advanced scripting to control the behavior. All of this will be done by different roles within the game industry, some of those being game designers, modelers, animators, level designers, programmers, and more. So let's just go over them one by one. So let's start off with a game designer. This is someone that comes up with the initial concept and design for the game, devises what the game consists of and how it plays. This is all relayed onto the other team members to ensure the game is consistent with the design. Next, you have the modeler. These guys create the visual part of the game, creating objects such as characters, weapons and more, using software such as 3ds Max or Maya to create the polygon based objects as mentioned previously. Next you have the animators. These guys create the motion of the game, creating animations based on keyframe movement of bones attached to an object. This is also done using specialist animation software which we will be teaching later in the series. Next you have the level designer, someone that designs and plans a level starting with just a 2D layout and an idea and bringing it into life inside of a game engine in either 2D or 3D. The level designer will take the assets created by the modelers and turn it into a refined, coherent level ready for the player to play through. Next you have the programmer. These guys are thrown right in the deep end. They work with a game engine code to script the functionality of the game, covering things like player movement, inputs, gameplay mechanics and more. They work with a variety of programming languages to do this and form the back end of the game. Lastly, you have the UI designer. Which, uh, these guys are essentially responsible for creating a fully functional and efficient HUD and menu that allows the user to play through the game and see uh, player information right in front of the player overlapping uh, the game content. So as I mentioned there's a whole lot of work required for creating video games and a whole variety of different software packages. We'll be teaching it all. Below I've compiled a list of software packages we'll be using for game creation. As you can see there's quite a few used for different tasks such as modeling, animation or creating levels inside the game engine. All of the software is the industry standard and will be able to create amazing results. Over this series we'll be using some of the software to create our very own video games from scratch. Throughout my channel you can find beginner friendly tutorials on how to use some of the software listed so why not get a step ahead of the game and begin learning ready for the next episode using the annotations. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll start designing and bringing our first project to life inside of the game engine. Fair to see to you.
Signing out.